Okay, in this video, I'd like to talk quickly about doping, and I'm assuming in this in, in well, uh, we're at a level that we have a reasonable amount of physics done, and this is kind of putting all together together all the bits of learning we've done. So just uh, like I said, I'm assuming a reasonable knowledge here. So doping is the process of increasing conductivity. by adding impurities to a substance. When I say impurities, we're, ta we're talking about other, uh, other, other materials. All right? So, uh, in, in the case, what we do here right, is we say, if we look at group 4 on the periodic table, we call those the semiconductors. The reason they're the semiconductors is because their conduction properties are between those of in insulators and conductors. And uh, what we can do is add the following impurities. We can add either group 5 impurities or we can add uh, group 3 impurities on the periodic table. And if we add group 3 impurities in the periodic table, we get a p-type. So the majority carrier will be a hole and group 5 will give us n-type. The majority carrier will be a, an, a, an electron. All right. Next, the equation n times p is equal to ni squared remains unchanged during doping and the, the material will remain electrically neutral. That's very important. The n-type doping increases the number of free electrons per conduction and uh, the p-type doping increases the number of holes available for conduction. Alright, so I suppose kind of a, a, a diagrammatic way of looking at, at an n-type material, if you had a lattice looking something like this, just bear with me now one moment. Something like this. Okay, so this electron here is now free, and if it's free, it can move around and be, get in, be, be, uh, be available for conduction. Alright, also, if we want to talk about Fermi levels, doping n-type, what does that do for the Fermi levels of n-type? Alright, so if you imagine we have your conduction band, okay, your conduction band is going to call CB, and your conduction band will have also, we'll say below it, you're going to have your, your the Fermi level for the, for the negative electric charge, E Fermi n. And by doping it, what you do is you raise the E Fermi n. So you bring the energy level of your, your the Fermi level, excuse me, of your negative charge closer to your conduction band. And as a result, they're closer to your conduction band for conduction. And some of them will actually get into your conduction band due to, uh, due to the quantum mechanical considerations like the, the uncertainty principle. All right. So that's the, that's how I suppose you look at n-type. Now p-type is just the, just the opposite. And also, like I said, we had the equation n times p is equal to ni to be squared. That remains constant. And you're going to have where n, of course, is equal to the number density of electrons. Density. S-I-T-Y of electrons. Where p is the number density of holes. And where ni is equal to the intrinsic number density. Alright, so I think that's a reasonable summary of what doping does. Thanks for watching, please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.